What enduring qualities do you think make the 1948 movie Rope an everlasting symbol of the industry? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the annals of cinematic history, certain films stand as timeless milestones, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Alfred Hitchcock's 1948 classic, Rope, is undeniably one such gem. Its enduring qualities have firmly secured its place in the pantheon of great films, and as we delve into some lesser-known facets of this cinematic marvel, you may find yourself captivated by its intricate tapestry. Intriguingly, Rope is renowned for its technical audacity. It was filmed in a series of long, unbroken takes, a daring departure from the conventional method of that era. These shots, limited by the capacity of film reels, spanned approximately 10 minutes, cleverly disguised through meticulously planned camera movements. The result was a seamless, immersive experience that provided the sensation of real-time storytelling, quite groundbreaking for its time. Furthermore, the film was loosely inspired by the infamous Leopold and Loeb murder case of the 1920s, which added an unsettling layer of realism to the suspenseful narrative. John Dahl and Farley Granger portrayed the chillingly charismatic murderers, elevating the tension of the plot. But what truly intrigues is the behind-the-scenes drama. James Stewart, a Hitchcock favorite, found himself limited by contractual obligations and could only film his scenes on weekends, adding an extra layer of complexity to the production. Do these facets pique your curiosity about this cinematic masterpiece? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie, as we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Rope remains a testament to Hitchcock's innovative storytelling, challenging the norms of its time and paving the way for modern cinema. Its enduring allure and lesser-known tidbits continue to captivate cinephiles to this day. Discovering these hidden gems adds a new layer of appreciation to this timeless classic. The movie Rope from 1948, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, is known for a few interesting facts. One of them is that the film differs significantly from Patrick Hamilton's play of the same name. In the play, the story takes place in England and features different characters and a younger Rupert Cadell. In the movie, the character Rupert Cadell is portrayed as being older, around the age of mid-40s, and a publisher. The play's characters like Janet Walker, Mrs. Wilson, Kenneth Lawrence, and Mrs. Atwater are absent from the film. The play's Brandon Shaw and Philip Morgan become Wyndham Brandon and Charles Granillo, respectively, in the movie. Additionally, the film includes a reference to another Hitchcock film, Notorious, in a scene where characters struggle to remember the title. This connection adds an interesting layer for fans of Hitchcock's work. A final noteworthy point about the movie is that Douglas Dick, who played Kenneth, was the last surviving cast member until his passing in 2015 at the age of 95. These facts highlight the differences between the play and the movie adaptation, the connection to another Hitchcock film, and the longevity of one of the cast members. Alfred Hitchcock dismissed his experiment with 10-minute takes as being just a stunt. In 1948, Hitchcock directed the film Rope, which is notable for its unique filmmaking approach. Hitchcock attempted to create the illusion of a single continuous take by using long, unbroken shots. Each shot lasted around 10 minutes, and the film contained only 10 cuts. Hitchcock's decision to experiment with this technique was met with mixed reviews. While some praised the innovation, he himself later referred to it as a stunt rather than a storytelling necessity. He believed that it didn't significantly enhance the film's narrative, but was more of a technical exercise. Rope is based on the play of the same name by Patrick Hamilton, and revolves around two young men who commit a murder just for the thrill of it. The story unfolds in real time as they host a dinner party with the victim's body hidden in a chest. James Stewart stars in the film as their former teacher, who begins to suspect that something is amiss. While Hitchcock's experiment with long takes and rope may not have been universally acclaimed, it remains a significant milestone in the history of cinema, showcasing the director's continuous quest to push the boundaries of filmmaking techniques. This experiment may not have been Hitchcock's most beloved work, but it remains an intriguing entry in his filmography, showcasing his willingness to take risks and challenge the norms of filmmaking in the pursuit of cinematic innovation. Rope, a 1948 movie directed by Alfred Hitchcock, has an interesting history. It was the final theatrical movie of Dick Hogan, 
who played the character David Kenley. This film was based on a play by Patrick Hamilton and is known for its unique storytelling technique as it was filmed to appear as if it were one continuous shot, though there are hidden cuts. A noteworthy aspect of Rope is that it was unavailable for three decades due to its rights being bought back by Alfred Hitchcock. This movie, along with four others from the same period, was left as part of his legacy to his daughter Patricia Hitchcock. These five films were referred to as the five lost Hitchcocks among movie buffs. They were re-released in theaters around 1984 after a 30-year absence, allowing a new generation of viewers to enjoy them. The other four movies in this group are Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much, The Trouble with Harry, and Vertigo. Additionally, the story in Rope was very loosely based on the real-life murder committed by University of Chicago students Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb. This infamous case also inspired other films like Compulsion and Swoon, although Rope took a more fictionalized approach to the story. In conclusion, Rope is a significant film not only for its unique filming technique, but also for its place in Alfred Hitchcock's legacy. It was the last theatrical movie for Dick Hogan, and drew inspiration from a notorious real-life murder case. The movie's re-release in the 1980s allowed a new generation of viewers to appreciate Hitchcock's work. The apartment in the 1948 movie Rope is supposedly located around 2nd Avenue and 54th Street in New York City. The view out the window looks west. This location serves as the backdrop for the entire film's story. The apartment's setting adds to the tension and suspense as the characters commit a murder and then host a dinner party with the victim's body hidden in a chest in the same room. The unique and confined space of the apartment plays a crucial role in building the movie's suspense and drama. As the curtains fall on our discussion of the 1948 cinematic gem, Rope, I encourage you to take a moment to let the weight of this Hitchcock masterpiece settle in. Your journey through this riveting tale of tension and morality may have left you with an array of emotions, thoughts, and memories that resonate with you on a personal level. Rope is more than just a movie, it's an exploration of human nature, moral ambiguity, and the consequences of our actions. This Alfred Hitchcock creation challenges us to peer into the depths of our own souls, to question our values, and to consider the consequences of our choices. As you reflect on this cinematic masterpiece, ponder the connections you forged with its characters, their motives, and the ethical dilemmas presented. How did Rope make you question your own beliefs and convictions? Did it leave you with a lingering sense of unease, or did it inspire you to explore the complex shades of morality? We invite you to share your favorite memories, musings, and insights inspired by Rope. What scenes captivated you the most? Which characters intrigued you? How has this film left its indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Your thoughts are a vital part of our cinematic conversation, so please feel free to express yourself and engage with others who have been similarly moved by this timeless classic. Thank you for your time and interest in discussing Rope. Your participation adds depth to our exploration of this remarkable film. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and cherished memories about it. Keep the cinematic conversations alive, and remember, the story doesn't end here. It lives on through our shared reflections.